Hello, and welcome to Pride Reviews. From trailblazing pioneers to films about people who survived discrimination, the LGBTQ community's true stories create incredibly powerful movies. Luckily, in recent years the world has become much more accepting and LGBTQ movies are finally getting the recognition they deserve. And what many might not realize is that some of the most lauded queer films in history are actually based on true stories and real people, showing the varied, unique, and sometimes awe-inspiring lives of LGBTQ pioneers. Soldier's Girl Originally released as a Showtime original movie, Soldier's Girl centers around the tragic death of Barry Winchell in 1999. One night he and some of his army buddies took a trip to an LGBTQ bar in Nashville called The Connection. There, Winchell fell in love with a trans woman, Calpurnia Adams. As rumors began to spread around Foot Campbell, Winchell became the victim of endless harassment and was ultimately murdered in his sleep. Pride During the 1984 miners' strike, a group of Welsh miners and LGBTQ plus activists became strange bedfellows when they decided to form a coalition to fight back against mistreatment. Members of the LGBTQ plus community formed the group Lesbians and Gays Support Miners after realizing police harassment against the community dropped off during the strike. The group discovered this was because the police force was now being used to harass the striking miners into submission. In an effort to form an alliance and help the cause, the organization heads to a small Welsh town to bring supplies and raised funds. Milk was based on the real life of Harvey Milk, America's first openly gay person to be elected as a public official. Milk served as a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, and while the title might not seem like a lot, the fact that a gay person was elected by the public to any position in 1978 was a huge milestone for the LGBTQ community. The film stars Sean Penn as Milk and details his run for office, his work with the community, his sometimes controversial actions, and ultimately, his assassination. Milk went on to be nominated for eight Oscars, with Sean Penn winning for Best Actor. Based on the memoir by Timothy Conagrave, Holding the Man chronicles the life and love of Timothy and his partner John. The two grow up together and are college-aged when the AIDS crisis begins in 1981. Despite numerous breakups and infidelity, the two finally realize they want to spend their lives together. Tragically, it's then that the two discover they've both tested positive for HIV. In the book and film, Tim realizes he's the one who gave John HIV and must come to terms with what that means and find a way to carry on. It's a heartbreaking but very real look at what life was like for gay men in an era when a deadly virus was ravaging the community while society refused to step up and help, and instead, isolated, and ostracized the gay community. Boys Don't Cry In 1993, Brandon Tina, a trans man, was brutally raped and murdered in a small Nebraska town. He was dating a girl and the two were in love, however, others in the town didn't approve. Brandon's final day alive was heartbreaking and macabre, and to this day, those events fuel the trans rights movement. In the film adaptation of Brandon's life and death, Boys Don't Cry, Hilary Swank plays Brandon Tina a role which earned her a Best Actress Oscar, and Brandon's girlfriend was played by Chloe Sevigny, who received a Best Supporting Actress nomination. I Love You, Philip Morris Based on an almost unbelievable true story, I Love You, Philip Morris showcases the life of Stephen J. Russell, played by Jim Carrey. Russell was a con artist who was caught stealing money while living in Miami. After being taken to prison, he falls in love with fellow inmate, Philip Morris. Throughout the next few years, Russell repeatedly broke out of prison, once even convincing the world he was dead, all to be with Morris. While the movie was never a commercial success in America, it played well overseas where it earned 90% of its $20 million box office haul. However, since its release, the movie has become somewhat controversial as Philip Morris claims he was actually the victim of a wildly manipulative and jealous con man. Interior, Leather Bar in 1980, Al Pacino starred in a highly controversial movie called Cruising, about a serial killer who targeted gay men in NYC's leather scene. In order to avoid an X rating, director William Friedkin had to remove 40 minutes of graphic SNM sex scenes. That footage has since been lost. In Interior Leather Bar, James Franco attempts to recreate this lost 40 minutes of footage, but the movie is actually a step beyond that. It's a film that chronicles Franco's making of the lost footage, not about showing the lost footage itself. Instead, it highlights the actors' discomforts with the material, their fears of being perceived as gay, 
The relationship and contrast between art and pornography and homoeroticism and stigmatization. Interior Leather Bar is part our house cinema and part documentary, but wholly unique. Borstal Boy is a 2000 romantic drama film directed by Peter Sheridan based on the 1958 autobiographical novel of the same name by Brendan Behan. Brendan Behan, a 16-year-old Republican, is going on a bombing mission from Ireland to Liverpool during the Second World War. His mission is thwarted when he is apprehended, charged, and imprisoned in Borstal, a reform institution for young offenders in East Anglia, England. At Borstal, Brendan is forced to live face-to-face -face with those he perceived as the enemy, a confrontation that reveals a deep inner conflict in the young Brendan and forces a self-examination that is revealing. Firebird is a 2021 romantic war drama film directed, co-written, and co-produced by Peter Rebane in his feature directorial debut, based on Sergei Fedosov's memoir The Story of Roman. The film stars Tom Pryor, who also co-wrote and co-produced Oleg Zagorodnyi and Diana Potarskia. Set in the Soviet Air Force during the Cold War, it tells the true story of forbidden love between a private and a fighter pilot. Firebird follows a handsome, soulful young soldier who embarks on a clandestine sexual affair with a charismatic fighter pilot on a Soviet Air Force base at the height of 1970s communist rule. Based on a true story during the Cold War, Firebird is a passionate love story set against the backdrop of a Soviet Air Force base during late 1970s communist rule. Sergei Tom Pryor, a soulful, young soldier who dreams of becoming an actor in Moscow, is counting the days until his military service ends. His life turned upside down when he locks eyes with Roman Oleg Zagorodnyi, a sexy, enigmatic ace fighter pilot newly assigned to his base. Driven by their undeniable attraction, Sergei and Roman navigate the precarious line between love and friendship at a time when Soviet men in uniform caught having a sexual affair was met with the severest punishment. As their friendship grows into love, the men risk their freedom and their lives to be together in the face of an all-seeing Soviet regime. Behind the Candelabra, My Life with Liberace Behind the Candelabra is a 2013 American biographical comedy drama television film directed by Steven Soderbergh from a screenplay by Richard LaGravenese. Based on the 1988 book of the same name by Scott Thorson and Alex Thorleifson. It dramatizes the last 10 years in the life of pianist Liberace and the relationship that he had with Thorson. Starring Michael Douglas, Matt Damon, Scott, a bisexual man, gets involved in a relationship with the legendary pianist Liberace. However, when Liberace takes other men to bed, Scott is thrown on the streets and he becomes a drug addict. Bohemian Rhapsody is a 2018 biographical musical drama film that focuses on the life of Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of the British rock band Queen. From the formation of the band in 1970 to their 1985 Live Aid performance at the original Wembley Stadium, it was directed by Brian Singer from a screenplay by Anthony McCartan and produced by Graham King and Queen manager Jim Beach. It stars Rami Malek as Mercury, with his impeccable vocal abilities, Freddie Mercury and his rock band, Queen, achieve superstardom. However, amidst his skyrocketing success, he grapples with his ego, sexuality, and a fatal illness. King Cobra is a 2016 American biographical film about the life and early career of former gay pornographic film actor Sean Paul Lockhart. It was directed by Justin Kelly and based on the book Cobra Killer, Gay Porn, Murder, and The Manhunt to Bring the Killers to Justice by Andrew E. Stoner and Peter A. Conway. Stephen an entrepreneur producing gay adult videos, exploits Brent, a newcomer who becomes an overnight sensation. Things go further downhill when a rival pornographic producer approaches Brent. The Happy Prince is a 2018 biographical drama film about Oscar Wilde, written and directed by Rupert Everett in his directorial debut. The film stars Everett, Colin Firth, Colin Morgan, Emily Watson, Edwin Thomas, and Tom Wilkinson. The untold story of the last days in the tragic times of Oscar Wilde, a person who observes his own failure with ironic distance and regards the difficulties that beset his life with detachment and humor. In a cheap Parisian hotel room, Oscar Wilde lies on his deathbed. The past floods back, taking him to other times and places. Was he once the most famous man in London? The artist crucified by a society that once worshipped him? 
Under the microscope of death, he reviews the failed attempt to reconcile with his long-suffering wife Constance, the ensuing reprisal of his fatal love affair with Lord Alfred Douglas and the warmth and devotion of Robbie Ross, who tried and failed to save him from himself. Traveling through Wilde's final act and journeys through England, France, and Italy, the transience of lust is laid bare and the true riches of love are revealed. It is a portrait of the dark side of a genius who lived and died for love. Prayers for Bobby is a televised drama film that premiered on the Lifetime Network on January 24, 2009. The film is based on the book of the same name by Leroy F. Ahrens, which is itself based on the true story of the life and legacy of Bobby Griffith, a gay young man who killed himself in 1983 due to his mother's homophobia. Ryan Kelly stars as Bobby Griffith and Sigourney Weaver portrays his mother Mary. Conservative Mary Griffith raises her kids in a Presbyterian way. However, when her son Bobby says that he may be a homosexual, she persuades him to pray harder, hoping that his sin will get cured. Did you enjoy watching this video? Then check out our other videos as well, and don't forget to subscribe Pride Reviews and click the bell notification for more upcoming videos.